So this is my temporary track control panel. Uh, it's going to control my five tracks that aren't my main tracks. It's going to train control power to that track, that track, that track, that track, and this track. Eventually, it will also control those two switches. <laughs> but right now, it just controls the uh, five spur tracks. These are just standard switches. Flip you over to the back side, and I'll show you how I wired it. Each one of those tracks has feeder wires. Uh, red for the inner rail, black for the outer rail. And they all go underneath the table, and they'll be run over to here to where my control panel will sit. And they will connect correspondingly to each end to get power. Everything is daisy chained. These two wires will go out to my control panel and connect to my inner track. But to get power to the switches, everything is daisy chained right along with 22 gauge solid core wire. All the other wires will come in here, connect to this side, so when you flip the switch on, it routes power from these wires to those wires out to the track. When it is off, no power to the track. Eventually, this switch panel will get rebuilt. I will actually take that apart, put them all in a project box, and make one single larger control panel to control the tracks the switches, and the trains. But that is simply how you build a simple control panel. I will uh, show you another video as soon as I have all the wires routed and run up to the switch. And I will show you it working as part of this uh, quick little how-to video. Just a uh, quick down and dirty uh, addition to show you that power does in fact go from each wire to each wire. I've got my positive lead on my red wire on the first switch. You'll hear beep when I hit it to here. Showing I have continuity. Two each switch. I do the same for my black switch, my black wire. Hold on, let me try to do this one handed. So there you go. It's daisy chaining switches. As you can see, switch is off, track power is on, train is not moving. Flip the switch. Train starts going. And you can drive right on out to the main track and get going. Then when I want to park this locomotive, back him right back on to the same track. When it gets to the spot I'm happy with, flip the switch, turn off the power, and when everything else is working, I could turn on another locomotive and drive away. That was actually part one in my uh, two-part how-to series for a track control panel. Uh, the second part will come along when I actually get the ABS project box and modify it to accept both my throttles and all the track controls and my two remote switches. 
I'm not sure how long it'll be till part two comes out, but that is uh, just part one. Hopefully my audio is a little better in this episode. Tried to even it all out. I apologize for the sniffles. Allergies are kicking my butt today. Hopefully they don't distract from the video and hopefully I taught you something. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, see you guys for the next video.